Vaccination with Improvac is an efficient, animal-friendly and sustainable alternative to physical castration for the control of boar taint. Not surprisingly, it is being increasingly adopted by swine producers around the world. However, to reap the many benefits of Improvac, it is essential that it is used correctly and safely. This short presentation demonstrates the correct method for administering Improvac using an injector with enhanced safety features. Improvac must be administered using an injector with enhanced safety features. Pfizer Animal Health strongly recommends that all personnel who administer the vaccine must first attend and successfully complete one of the company's training workshops. These injectors have a number of inbuilt design features which greatly reduce the risk of accidental needle stick injury or self-injection. In addition, they are designed and balanced to make single-handed use easy and comfortable, so large numbers of pigs can be injected in one session without undue fatigue. Before beginning a vaccination session, it is important to have everything ready and prepared. The injector device is assembled and primed ready for use, but without the needle attached. The pigs that are to be vaccinated with Improvac should be clean and dry, so it is worth paying extra attention to good hygiene in the days before injection. Any sick animals should not be vaccinated. They should either be clearly identified or removed and treated according to farm procedures. They should be vaccinated once they have recovered, and if this is the second injection, sent to slaughter four to six weeks later. If males and females are kept together and you are not able to segregate them, then the females need to be marked before starting to ensure that only the males are vaccinated. As you can see here, if pigs have too much space, it is difficult to inject them as they can easily avoid the operator. To make vaccination easier and more efficient, it is a good idea to confine the pigs to a small area, so they have less chance to move around. This can be done in a number of ways depending on the individual farm conditions. For example, using a board or barrier, or even a corridor. In this system, there are 230 pigs in one pen. The operators use boards to separate the animals into two groups and thus reduce the amount of space for those that are to be vaccinated. However, although this makes it possible to inject the pigs, it is not ideal because the group is still too large. In this situation, pigs should be divided into smaller groups or alternatively, injected while they are moving along a corridor. Whatever method is used, it is important to avoid stressing the animals by restricting the space too much. A plastic sheet or curtain is one way of reducing the space in the pen. If this method is used, the divider can be attached to one or both sides of the pen, thus reducing the number of people needed to carry out the vaccination. In systems with restricted feeding, it may be convenient to vaccinate pigs while they are eating. Don't forget, it is important to get the right balance between restricting the space that pigs have and avoiding overcrowding. Also, don't have too many pigs in each group. Having more than one person at each vaccination session makes life a lot easier and helps to make sure that all the pigs are successfully vaccinated. As soon as all the pigs in one pen have been vaccinated, make sure this is recorded in the herd protocol, including the pen ID, the number of pigs, the date, and the initials of the person responsible. Make sure you plan each vaccination session in advance and decide how vaccination can be carried out in your housing system without causing stress to the pigs or the personnel involved and without accidentally missing any animals. 
Giving young pigs their first dose of vaccine from eight weeks of age is very different to vaccinating older pigs for the second time, four to six weeks before slaughter. The small ones are faster, and contrary to what you might think, experience has shown that the older ones are not difficult to vaccinate. It all depends on proper planning and not stressing the pigs. If this is achieved, then you will find it surprisingly easy to use the special injectors. You are now ready to start vaccinating. First, a needle is attached to the injector, which has already been primed. The operator can now enter the pen, so the pigs become accustomed to his or her presence. Each pig is then injected in the correct site, just behind the ear and immediately marked on the back. The injector is moved around the skin until it is in the correct position behind the ear. Only then is the trigger squeezed to release the shroud, and the injector pushed towards the pig and the injection given. The injection should not be delivered by squeezing the trigger, but by pushing the injector against the pig, once it is over the correct injection site. The correct technique causes much less fatigue and ensures that the injection is given in the right position and that the needle penetrates the skin sufficiently. As far as possible, the injector should be held perpendicular to the skin to allow the needle to penetrate to the correct depth. It is important to move the injector around to get the correct injection site, rather than just punching the device straight into the pig. If you think the injection has not been given correctly to a particular animal, then you should try again, before marking it. A second dose will not harm the pig, so it is better to be sure and inject again if there is any doubt. In order to benefit fully from the safety features of the injector, it is essential that the trigger is not squeezed in between injections. If it is, the safety features will not work, and in addition, the pigs will feel the needle as soon as you try to find the right injection site. Finally, you should always inject with the injector pointing away from your body, never towards. In this way, if a pig suddenly moves away, you will not be at risk of injecting yourself in the leg. Needles have to be changed regularly during each vaccination session, normally between each pen or in accordance with recommendations from your veterinarian. This is to avoid the risk of carrying over infections and to make sure the needle is sharp, making injection easier and painless. You should always leave the pen when needles are changed. This promotes calmness among the pigs and reduces the risk of needle stick injury. For the sake of convenience, spare needles and other equipment should be kept on a trolley near the pen. If Improvac is spilt on the skin at any time, it should be washed off straight away with soap and water. When the vaccination session is over, disinfect and then dismantle the injector in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Every male pig must be given two injections of Improvac for the product to be effective. It is therefore essential to check pigs two weeks after the second dose of Improvac has been given to make sure that both doses have been successfully delivered. Thankfully, this is not too difficult to do. Pigs that have been successfully vaccinated with two doses of Improvac behave very differently to non-vaccinated boars. Two weeks after the second Improvac injection, pigs should be much calmer, less prone to fighting and mounting, and generally easier to handle. In fact, much more like female pigs, or those that have been physically castrated. The size of the testicles can also be used as part of the check. If vaccination has been successful, the testicles will be much smaller generally about half the size of testicles on equivalent aged, intact boars. So, two weeks after the second injection, and two to four weeks before animals are sent to slaughter, 
You should check for any pigs that show repeated aggressive behavior, persistent mounting behavior, or have large reddened testicles. Here, you can see a boar that has not been successfully vaccinated. It is mounting and has large reddened testicles. This pig should immediately be identified, vaccinated and sent to slaughter four weeks later. In this case, a whole pen was accidentally overlooked and not vaccinated on time. The pigs exhibit typical boar-like behavior, such as aggression and mounting behavior, which is what you would expect to see in production systems that raise intact males to this age and weight. All these pigs should be immediately vaccinated and sent to slaughter four weeks later. In this situation, documentation procedures should also be reviewed and improved if necessary. Finally, a reminder of the main do's and don'ts. Do vaccinate only healthy, clean males. Vaccinate just behind the ear. Mark pigs as they are vaccinated. If in doubt whether the vaccination was successful, repeat the injection. Change the needle regularly. Don't load or clean the injector when the needle is in place or remain in the pen when changing a needle. Don't vaccinate with the injector pointing towards yourself. Don't punch the device into the pig. And finally, remember to release the trigger after each injection. Experience has shown that when Improvac is delivered using an injector with enhanced safety features by correctly trained and accredited operators, it is highly effective and safe for the operator.